Closed captioning is brought to you by Bodog. Be a player. Here we are back in St. Stephen, New Brunswick for event number four, the International oh, yeah. Lumberjack Competition. Hitting the double buck event. Now this is an event where sometimes your regular partner cannot make it to the competition. You pick up someone who knows how to handle a saw. That's right, and we have a lot of that here today, actually. Louis Bork and uh, Catherine haven't sawed together, but Louis Bork, I'm quite sure, has got a brand new saw here, so it actually should cut pretty fast. Taking on Cousins and Dillman, who I know have sawn before, that's for sure. And one of the keys, like any event, chopping or sawing, you got to keep the tool in the wood. You want it to do the cutting for you. That's right, and, and look at Louis saw cutting. It is actually the faster saw. The other team here sawing very smoothly. That's right. Look at the Cousins and Dillman on the right-hand side. They're very, very flat. Bork and Spencer are going to win this heat. They have struggled at the end there. They're going to take off a bit of a piece in the end. They do, and it opens the door for Dillman and Cousins to win this heat. I've heard the stands are slightly a little bit too high. Do you find them too high, or do you find them uh, comfortable? I find it uh, an inch or two high. It's a little bit higher than what we're used to, but we're, we're making it work. Good job. You beat a man and woman team. Two women. Excellent job. Thanks, Bill. 14.50 is the time to beat as we head into heat number two. We got Eisner and Brandon Conrad taking on Cumberland and McPhee. And you know that time to beat's going to drop in this heat, if not the rest of the heats. That's right. Roger and Nathan uh, haven't sawn together a whole lot, but Brandon Conrad and Corey Eisner have sawn together the last two years, and they can really make this saw fly. And if you can keep the saw smooth, it's all about pace. And look at the pace of Eisner and Conrad, a fantastic pace. And they blow the time to beat substantially with a time of 7.97. Now you learned your trade at Sir Sanford Fleming College in Lindsay, is that not true? That is true. I uh, ventured up to Ontario to uh, get my education and uh, fell in love with the sport up there. And now you're applying your trade in the Maritime? You know it. Uh, I'm actually working in Nova Scotia and enjoying every minute of it. Well, now we're getting down to the nitty gritty and double buck with three heats to go. The time to beat is now 7.97. We got Bork and Dupree taking on Cameron and Big Moyle Conrad. That's right. None of these guys saw together regularly at all, but Big Moyle and Ryan Cameron, both are tall men that should, on this tall stanchion, should do a great job. You can put a lot more weight in a saw when you're uh, sawing on top of the log. Keep the saw in there. Keep up the pace. It's going to take a little bit of strength. That's right. And look at Moyle and Ryan. Great job back and forth. 7.6 seconds. What are we going on with uh, post-game coaching there? Well, this is the first time we have a saw together, right? My partner never made it in. So Ryan said he saw with me, and the first time I saw it with him, and I just showing him what we was doing wrong, right, that, uh, that cut. And that, at the beginning there, I was telling him what I wanted him to do. Like I saw a lot of people, and I can really know a lot of the fundamentals anyway. We didn't do too bad at the beginning of it. We had some upstrokes there. It was awful light. We could not do it. So what did he show you on the wood here and specifically? What was he showing on the wood? Well, you can see on my cuts right here, I was pulling up. I'm really not used to cutting with someone as strong as Moyle. So getting used to having that much weight on the saw definitely took a couple strokes. Well, the mountain of a man from Greenfield, Nova Scotia, Moyle Codron and his partner, Ryan Cameron, lower the time to beat at a 7.6. I don't know if anybody can beat this time in the last two heats. Bork and Woodland, they're the best team in New Brunswick. They train together a lot at Paul's Place, but I'll tell you, don't count out Nick Graham and Trevor Dillman. They've been sawing together the last two years. They've got a beautiful cross-cut saw. It's cutting really fast. Well, we're going to see if the time can be lowered down below seven seconds in this heat right now as they get started. Both teams are off strong. Bork and Woodland are strong, very strong. Looks like Mario stands up on the cut. They break the cut. They're going to get a DQ. What happened there? Just cut out at the end. They fell over a little bit there. The stand was sort of in the way in the corner, so it's the way it goes, I guess. Not, not too impressed. No, nope, not really. But here we go. Still got a lot of chopping left, so we'll see. Well, you can see on his face. You can hear it in his voice. Him and Woodland got to be disappointed, dashing their hopes in the double buck. Seven six zero, still time to beat. We got Lambert and Cumberland taking on Russell and Walker. Right, their hopes got dashed a little bit earlier because Donald Lambert was supposed to saw with Jean Simon Bertrand, Janet Walker with J.P. Mercy, both a no show. So they picked up new partners here today. Three, two, this is where you see how fast you can adapt to a new partner. I'm betting on Lambert and Cumberland here. Look at the pace, a little bit slow, but they're dropping their saw. A little bit of a bobble there, Bill, but look at them pick up the pace here in the end. Fast finish for them. There it is, a 9.19. Conrad and Cameron win the double buck. Now, you started a little bit slow there. Now, did you yell at him during that cut saying, let's go faster and let's go, or did you just start pulling him faster? Well, I know, well, it is the first time sawing with a new guy, so I just, uh, the important thing is to have a straight, a straight start. If not, if you're crook, you're done, you screw it up all to the bottom. So I know by doing a, a small start, it's going to be efficient, and after, we just apply the, uh, the technique. 
Now, did you, uh, it's the first time sawing with Donald, did you find him uh, to be an aggressive puller? Mm, uh, kind of a little bit less aggressive than my dad, I guess, but yeah, he's, he's, a, good, he's a good sawyer. Well, being aggressive in the double buck is a great thing, but you still got to work with your partner. 9.19, good enough for fifth place. But look at Mo Conrad and Ryan Cameron. First time sawing together, they win the double buck with a 7.60. And a crown rust pivotal point for today is got to be the disappointment faced by Paul Woodland and Mario Bork in the double buck, losing 100 points potentially if they had won first place. Beautiful cut going here right through to the end. But you'll see here in just a second, Mario Burke anticipating the cookie coming off, steps up. They have to go back for that last little cut. Big time disappointment. What a fantastic leaderboard we have here in Chocolate Town, St. Stephen, New Brunswick, with Paul Woodland leading the way with a lot of guys hot on his heels. Come back again next week for part two right here on Lumberjacks. Lumberjacks is sponsored by Echo, professional quality, ask any pro. Crown, protect, maintain, save. Bodog, be a player. Red Pine Wilderness Lodge, simply unreal fishing.